Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing some kitchen organization, but before we jump into that, we are going to be looking at the items that I bought for these. Reese is super excited, guys. I hope you guys are as well. So without further ado, let's check these out. Hey guys, so I'm just going to start off by showing you what I bought in the stores and then I'm going to move on to my Amazon boxes. So to start off, I'm going to show you guys these cereal dispensers that I got. They're really easy to open for kids. That's why I thought it was just a good idea and they close and it feels like they sell pretty good. So hopefully they keep your cereal fresh. I will let you guys know later on if they do or not. Um, I ended up looking on Amazon for those, but I just couldn't figure out if those were the ones I want. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just like going in the store, touching it and seeing what kind of quality you guys are getting rather than not knowing and buying online. So next I got these little trays and I also got, I pretty much got, let's see, small, medium, and large. So I have a couple ideals for these, but my first ideal, I want to create like a tea drawer because we drink a lot of tea. We don't really drink coffee in this house. So I'm thinking I might be able to create something with these, but I also have a couple other ideals. And then we have a lot of junk drawers. We have like three or four junk drawers in this house. So I ended up getting these at Marshall's and it came with two of them. So I'd be able to put like batteries, tools or anything in here. So hopefully that will organize my drawers and then I also got another one these kind of are like medium these came with three and they were only if you guys can see that $4.99 which I think is a still so especially for three of these so even if I don't use these in the kitchen I think I'd be able to use these throughout the house somewhere else so I definitely wanted to get these and then I found these at Family Dollar and I thought these were great for snacks. I ended up getting three of these and they're pretty good size long wise. I will say when buying storage like I did, I would just measure out your cabinets and everything before you go buying so you know exactly what sizes you need. Because I know I ended up buying a few things that I'm not sure on the size and I was like, oh great, you should have just measured before you go. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping that those fit. So now I am going to jump right in to our Amazon boxes, guys. Okay, guys. So I did end up opening the first initial box just because I started filming and then Reese decided it was time for a nap. So I didn't open the rest of the boxes inside, just pretty much the initial Amazon box. And then opening it up, I can see that I got labels, sorry, my mind's blank. Anyways, I got these labels to put on all of my containers and I was thinking about using my Cricut machine, but it seems like every time I put my Cricut machine out lately, there's like chaos in the house. It's just like mom, they, everybody knows mom's doing something, so then they have like 50 different questions. So with all the containers that I need to label, I just thought that this was a great idea and they were really cute, so. And then let's see, let's see what this is. <laughs> food, my food storage organizer. I don't quite know yet how I'm going to be doing all my organizers. Um, I just got multiple, so if I need different shapes or sizes or anything like that, I can use it and utilize it in that space. These ones were pretty cool that I got on Amazon because they have dividers, so I can take all the dividers out if I need big space, but if I need them for like snacks or anything like that, I can put them in and they seem really nice. So I'm just going to try, oh, they go in pretty good. They seem like they're a little big, but as I put it in, I can see they're pretty stable in there. So that's good. I really like those ones. And then let's see. Oh, this box is actually pretty heavy. Opening it up, 
seeing this funnel, I'm guessing it is my spice containers. Oh, I am right, guys. So these are the spice containers that I got, and they look pretty nice. And I also got labels with these as well. And I can see they don't really show it. So give me a second and we'll look at these. Let's see what else is in here. <gasps> there is a chalk marker. So I am hoping this doesn't mean that I have to write the labels. I'm pretty sure I don't. I made sure because my handwriting is not that good. So let me open these and then we will see what these look like. So kind of pulling these out. Oh, they're stuck. You can see they're just, these are the labels for the glass part. And then as I was opening these up, I seen what the chalk was for and that's just extra. Sorry guys. But you could kind of take a peek at those. And then I had, sorry, there you go, a little bit of better peek at those and then there are some blank ones in the back as well i guess extras if you need anything like that so that is perfect and again like those circle the black ones just go on here so you can see the labels from both the top and the side so i can't wait to get these filled up and see how they look i'm gonna pack these up real quick and those aside and finally it looks like i have my salt and pepper shakers kind of wanted to update mine a little bit they were just like plain I had some ones on top of my um, oven but they just were for decoration and I didn't really use this so yep here are looks like the lids and a little funnel that it comes with and then let's pull this out <laughs> there they are oh and then it comes with a brush probably just to get that salt and pepper out yeah so you can just brush it off like that once you pour it and what's cool that I didn't know that these actually come with extras so that's awesome to know and then just kind of a little peep at what those are look like I'm just gonna pack everything back up into this box that I got and then take a look at the next box we have. So, like I said before, we did kind of open these boxes, but we didn't kind of look too much at them. Here is the spice rack for all the spices that we just opened up. And then let's open this up. I have an idea, but I'm not quite sure. I think it is a table turner that I got to put like our salt and pepper shakers on and like my olive oil and everything to sit out in, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, that is just so cute. Do you guys see that? I was just going to get a regular turntable, but I wanted something that kind of went with our little theme. And I thought it was a little bigger than this, but honestly, this is probably a perfect size because I'm not going to have too much stuff on there. So that's a look again at it. Super cute. I love the wood. I love the back, honestly. I wish the back looked like the or the front looked like the back a little bit more. I just like all that design in there. But it's cute anyways and it will serve the purpose that I want it for. So let's move those. Okay, so let's open this up. Ooh. Okay, I was looking and I was like, what? said a set of four sizes I'm thinking a set of four and I was like I know I bought more than four but this comes in 25 and then four different sizes so let's look at this first and see what these look like oh, those are cute don't 
have the lid. I'm hoping they're not too Tupperware-y. I didn't want to go with that look. So it looks like... Okay. Oh, those are cute. Ooh. Oh, those are long. Enough. I didn't even know. Oh, that's cute. They come with labels. Like I said, my handwriting is awful, so I probably won't be writing on these. That's why I got the labels, but these will definitely come in handy for something else around the house. And then a little chop pin. want to see it kind of with the lid on that's what I was like really curious about oh gosh those snap amazing and they felt really tight on there oh these are look, gonna look really great ah, I'm so happy I was scared that these were gonna end up cheap and everything but they ended up they're really nice and snug for that airtight Containment. Well, I hope it's going to keep my food fresh. And so, like I said, I have tons of different sizes. Let me pull these out and I'll kind of show you guys. I think this is another size. Just expect it. Yep, there's another size. I think this has all four sizes. Ah, oh, they're really snug in there. I guess that's my one complaint. You can't get them apart. Just, uh, there we go. Wiggle it. Okay, taking a closer look at these, you can see different sizes. And I got a lot for my baking supplies, like flour and brown sugar and all that. And then these, I just want it for like pastas and things. So I can't wait to see what these really look like in my cabinets. I'm so excited, especially with those labels that I got. I think it will look really good. Okay, so I am just gonna push these aside for now. I'll just pack those up later and see what else we have in the box. Oh my gosh. I am thinking, I'm looking at this and thinking it might be too big for my drawer. I really hope not. Um, I got this for our utensils. I seen it on Amazon and thought it would just be great. You just stick your silverware in here and it takes up a lot less space. And then there's more space for like my kids spoons and all that I can put in here and then any utensils that I need. And then like I said, this just slips in. It has spoon right there, forks, knives. I don't remember what you stick right up here. I have to look, but yes. Hey guys, the last box is empty. You know what that means? The video has come to an end, but before you guys go, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and those notification bells so you do not miss my extreme, huge organizational video for my kitchen. I'm gonna be doing my cabinets, my drawers, everything is changing. So you do not want to miss this. This video is going to be dropping next week. So again, hit those buttons that you need to be hitting. And until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys.